for the first time in one year, we're back at Universal Studios Hollywood for a taste of Universal. So let's go explore the park. Wow, well, feels nice coming back in here after a year, literally more than a year for me. It's like February or something, I was back in this park. So nice just to be able to walk the main street again. So upon entering, they give you this food voucher. You have five tastings. It's about about ten dollars of ten or nine or ten dollars a meal for fifty dollars or so. So then you put it in this nice little lanyard like you would your annual pass. And we're back with the gorgeous Secret Life of Pets facade. Something I haven't seen in over a year. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that looks. Incredible. The pet store is also open and there's a outdoor queue. But they also, something that's new here is the noises. They have the area atmosphere. They have dogs barking and nice music. Cannot wait for this ride to open up, hopefully with the park next month. And of course, just in case you don't remember last time, they have the street markings. And they also have um, the Pets Place Street sign. This ride once again will be using a virtual queue that you can get on the app or right here through this uh, on the subway station. The beautiful New York City themed trash can here. I think one of those, one of these doors is the exit of the attraction. Once again, here's the beautiful marquee and entrance logo to this attraction. And this is the wait time sign and it shows you the restrictions. Right now, it's just showing you a taste of Universal on the map and the event locations. Go check these guys out. Krusty, Springfield, Wizzing World, Minions Cafe, Hollywood, and Dine. But yes, this will be eventually the wait time sign. And you must be this tall to get on the sequel for Pets attraction. And for the first time ever, you gotta get a nice view of the side, the finished side of this guy. These nice neighborhood doors and brownstones. Still wish it would extend it all the way down there though, instead of the top right there. Looks gorgeous as always. Can't wait for this part to open. Looking inside the Secret Life of Pets attraction, you can see the beautiful new queue that they shot off in the first look uh, first took photos a few months ago. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Again, there's a, a fast pass or express entrance. The regular entrance over there. So gorgeous. And sorry about this glare. The window's a little bit dirty as well. But it just looks great in here. Cannot wait to get to ride this next month. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic attraction here. And over here by Spickle Me, they have these cool interactive doorbells. Hello! Over here is another one. And then over here, the last one. I'm trying to not touch it with my hands. Love it. Over here on the pet side, another gorgeous building. We got, oh, this is a key card for the backstage of the attraction. But, you can like do that. On this doorbell. Unlock it. Looking at the brand new Minions, Minions Cafe, which Universal reveal, revealed the first look at of yesterday. It is live in person. Looks great. Nice and colorful. Extended queue all the way down to the plaza here. Super silly fun land. If you want to see the Super Nintendo World construction update, 
uh, that I just got from this lovely view, be sure to click on uh, the top right corner. Um, that's in its own separate video. And it's some, we got the best views of Super Nintendo World yet. The best views since, well, the park closed in uh, last March. So definitely go check those out. Those are amazing views. And now, let's head into the beautiful Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Back at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And oh my goodness, I miss this castle. I miss this ride as well. It's beautiful, beautiful music. So good. And I even missed this coaster. Flight of the Hippogriff. That chess seat, that's funny, I don't even remember that chess seat being there, even though I'm sure it was, but it's always so crowded over there. Ah, let's go check out the store. Like this video if you missed the studio tour. And comment below, what is your favorite scene on the studio tour? Taking a look at the back lot, looks like the Horror Nights mazes are gone from here temporarily, probably due to filming. But we're gonna go check out the lower lot right now, and I'll show you the maze that uh, that's by the Mummy that's been up all year, and it'll be obviously be continuing to be up for Halloween Horror Nights this year. And yeah, but the horn in the back lot's looking nice and pretty. Those lovely sets. Can't wait to get back on the studio tour. <laughs> As I have told you before, you see the super, the uh, Halloween Horn Ice Maze, chilling right over there. Getting ready to put on the facades. Now blue is where they put the facades up. The black tent is going to fade into the night. You can't see that. Well, it's hard to see. At nighttime when Halloween Horn Ice does come. Uh, any rumors as to what this maze is going to be? I have no idea. So comment below what you guys think or what you guys know about this maze that was scheduled for 2020's Halloween Horn Ice. It's not going to be for this year's Halloween Horn Nights. Looking at the lower lot, you see Jurassic World looking beautiful down there. It's, the flume's empty, but it's still looking beautiful. Look at it go. I can't wait till that's filled up and testing when the park is opening. And then, of course, it's going to debut, hopefully, with the park. So we can see that new scene with the Dominus Rex is fighting against the uh, T-Rex. I have a full video on Super Nintendo World, which I'll link on the top right corner. Look at that awesome sign. But, um... There's a quick look at Super Nintendo World again, and there's a look at the entrance right over there. You can see the little, the little steel entrance for the pipe that we used to enter into Peach's Castle potentially. Uh, Bowser's Castle will be right there. Peach's Castle potentially right there. I thought that was gonna be something else. Maybe, probably Peach's Castle, Bowser's Castle, and then uh, oops, sorry, and then the the hills right there. So here's how they modified the Simpsons area here, Springfield. For Taste of Universal, they had made basically the entire queue and games area a seating area. And they have a meet and greet with Mr. Homer Simpson in front of the Quickie Mart right over there as well. So continuously long lines for a Krusty Burger, which is one of my favorite restaurants, if not my favorite restaurant here at Universal. So when you are here, make sure to uh, prepare because there's quite a line. It's not too bad right now, but usually it stretches all the way over here. Over coming weekends, I do a video on the Animation Studio Store and the Universal Studio Store to see what kind of new merchandise they have in there. So they have some really cool new uh, Jurassic World stuff and some other cool stuff, so go check those out in the next couple of weeks. There are some more socially distanced meet and greets like uh, Hello Kitty. As a bonus, once again, look at that incredibly long line again trying to get to the Universal Studios store here in City Walk. I think it's the longest I've ever seen it. And now it's time to say goodbye. Universal is a great time and taste of Universal. Get over here next Saturday and the next and the Saturday after that, the 27th. And for some more videos, then I'll be at Touch of Disney on the April 4th. If you like this video, press that thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe, subscribe for more theme park updates and as always, have a fantastic day. Sorry for this glare, that sunset glare that happens to